Channel 2 News begins right now with breaking news. Breaking right now at 10, tragedy in West Texas. A man kills at least five and injures nearly two dozen more. Oh, God, they're shooting right there. The tense moments when this all came to an end. The youngest among those shot during the rampage, less than two years old. I'm Jonathan Martinez. And I'm Sion Rhodes. Thank you for joining us. Investigators, both state and federal, now helping to find answers to yet another deadly shooting in our state. We've been following this story since our newscast at 6 when we learned about the shooting rampage in the Midland, Odessa area. Our Sally Mamdu has been looking into this story. She is live now in the newsroom with the very latest. Sally? Sianas federal officials and police continue to look in the motives behind the shooting. Over a dozen victims are recovering tonight from their injuries. Oh God, they're shooting right there. Several cars hit with bullets paint that chaotic afternoon in Midland, Odessa, after a man randomly opened fire. Odessa Fire Chief John Alvarez says the attack claimed the lives of five people and left over a dozen injured, among them three officers. Well, so far we've got 21 victims that were uh, transported to uh, either medical center or RMC. Uh, we've ha also had some that were transported to Midland Memorial Hospital. So uh, that, that, that's the count at this point. Odessa police say the shooting rampage began at a traffic stop when a DPS trooper attempted to stop a gold Honda. When the DPS troopers got the car stopped, he was then shot by the occupant of the car. The vehicle continued westbound into uh, the city of Odessa and um, shot an individual. Police say the suspect continued driving and fired at several others. Then he abandoned his car and stole a mail truck. While driving the mail truck, police say the man kept on firing at people. The shooting sent panic into the streets as police post to Facebook urging people to get off the roads as they continue to look for the shooter. Oh my God! The suspect then heads to the local movie theater where he's met with several law enforcement agencies who, after exchanging gunfire, killed the suspect. This was a joint effort by just a multitude of, of departments to find this animal and bring him to justice. Vice President Mike Pence reacted to the shooting as he prepared to fly overseas. At the president's direction, we deployed the full resources of the federal government. They're on site. The president spoke to the attorney general. FBI is already assisting local law enforcement. Governor Greg Abbott released a statement which reads in part, the First Lady and I are heartbroken over this senseless and cowardly attack and we offer our unwavering support to the victims, their families, and all the people of Midland and Odessa. The governor is expected to be in Midland, Odessa tomorrow morning. We're live in the newsroom. Sally Mamdou, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Sally, thank you. And our Robert Arnold will head to the Midland, Odessa area tomorrow to cover the shooting. Look for his live reports on air and on click2houston.com beginning tomorrow. Now we're